Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to push the existing code, whatever the existing code we have in our local repo. We'll try to push it into the GitHub created repository. So that is nothing but sample project. So in the previous video, we have added the sample, we have created the sample project repository and also we have used, we have added the remote in the e-commerce project. So if we in order to check the remote, we can see git remote space hyphen V. So this is the URL for this one. So now in order to push the thing, what we need to do is, for example, if you try to see here, you will be able to see that git branch hyphen M main. So here they have given the main here. Actually, the normally what we can say is in the git repository, so normal default branch is the master. So now what we can say is in the GitHub, uh, in the ending 2020 ending, I think, so they renamed the master branch and made the made main as the main branch. Okay, so they renamed the master to the main. So that is the reason they are asking us to rename the master branch to the main. So right now we will, uh, for confusion concerns and all those things, we will keep it as master only. In the GitHub in the late 2020s, they have changed this master to the main. Okay. So now what do we what do we need to do? So now in order to push our repository, whatever the repository we are having, so in order to push this all repository into the GitHub means we need to use the command git push and we need to mention the name of the remote. So what is the name of the remote we are having? Origin. And we need to mention the branch name. So why? Because so right now if you try to check the branches here, so git branch, if you try to check the branches, we are having lot of branches, right? So now git uh, using this push thing, so we cannot push all these branches at a time. So we can push only one branch, whatever the branch you mention. So that branch only will be pushed to the GitHub at a single time. So now we need to push whatever the changes that are present in the master, we need to push. So how we can push it? So git push origin master. So before pushing this one, let's try to check the log. So these are all the logs present. Okay. So if you try to check the status, so we can check the status here. So nothing is there. So now whatever the log commits up to now what I have made. So these all commits will be moved to the master. So sorry, to the GitHub repository. So how can I do it? Git push origin the name of the branch. So here we need to mention the remote name. So this is the alias name you need to know, you know, you know right. And here this is the branch name. So this master branch and the commits that are present in this master branch, everything will be moved to the GitHub repository. So if I press enter, so let's try to push it. So it, will, so it is trying to push it. So it has been pushed. So now if I try to check it in the GitHub, so now if I, if I refresh this page, so let's try to see. So here you'll be able to see. So Leela already has co committed some changes. Okay. So now commit. So if you want to check, so now if you try to click on this one, so here if you try to see, there is only one branch present. So, but if you try to see here, git branch means you will be able to see so many branches, but only one branch is pushed. So this is the thing you need to remember. So whatever the branch you are pushing, git push origin master. So that branch only will be pushed to the GitHub. You need to remember this one. So now here you will be able to see the list of branches. So that is nothing but only the master is pushed into the GitHub. And here you will be able to see all the files, dummy, index, new text, so all the files you will be able to see. And, and here also you will be able to see one branch. Okay, here you will be able to see the one branch. And if I click on this branch, so here you will be able to see the all the branches names. Okay, so if I click on these branches, so you will try to see. So here you will be able to see. And here I will be, you will be able to see the nine commits. These are all 29 days ago, 29 days ago. So that means we have created these all commits 29 days ago. So here if I click on the commits, here you will be able to see all the commits that I have, I have did in the local git repository. These all the commits has been pushed here. See, you will be able to see the commits. So this is how we will be pushing the branch into the GitHub repository. Now we will try to create a new branch and we will try to push it here into the GitHub. So now if I try to see, so now if we try to see here, so if I try to keep ls, so here I am able to see the ls and I will try to switch to the so git switch hyphen c or otherwise new branch. So we have already one branch present. We will move to this branch. So if I click keep ls, so we are here we are having index.txt new branch.txt. So let's try to create another file something like I will try to remove this one. Uh, what I can say rm new branch dot. So I will remove this branch and also I will try to remove index.txt file also. So I have removed rm. So if I try to press ls, so we are having, we are having nothing files is there. 
So now what I will try to do, I will try to create another branch. So here I will try to create something like lila.txt. Okay, I have created one. So now if I try to check the status. So now if I try to check the status. So here we have deleted two files and we have added lila.txt file. So let's add everything and let's hit commit hyphen m. So delete and sorry delete and add file okay so now we have committed so now if i try to check the git log here so you'll be able to see the commit so here the origin is here okay so you'll be able to see the origin the head is here okay now what i will try to do here i will try to push it so here i will try to push it so how can i push this one so git so let's try to clear it out this one all so now here git push origin so we need to write origin and the name of the branch so name of the branch is nothing but new branch here i can press enter so now what it will try to do so new branch has been pushed here okay so here everything is pushed so now if i try to check here if i try to refresh this page so here you will be able to see the two branches so here if i click on the drop down we are able to see the new branch also but here you will be able to see the three files are existing here dummy index and new but if i go to the new branch see nothing is present so only lila.txt file is, is only file present so now we are maintaining the copies of these files also so if i go to this master branch okay so here we are having three files and here we are having the new branch okay so now these are all the commits we have did so if i go to the commits means so if i go to this new branch and if i go to here so here you will be able to see the four commits that has been already done in the new branch. So this is how we will be pushing the commits into the GitHub repository. Now if you go to the master for example, so here I can go something like git checkout master or otherwise git switch master. I move to the master. So what I will try to do here, so I will let me clear, sorry, let me clear it out. So here I will try to create something like, so we are here, we are having ls, right? So I am creating something like touch master.txt or something like that. I am creating one file. And if you want whatever the things you want, you can change, you can you can do it. Whatever the changes you want, you can do it. So I have did one file, I have created one file. So I, have, I can commit it here. So git commit hyphen m. Okay. So add master file, something like this. So now we can, if you want to push it means git push origin master. That's it. So whatever the commits you have made, so the one commit will be moved automatically to the GitHub repository. That's it, it has moved to the GitHub repository. So if you have not configured the SSH means it will always prompt you for the username and password. You need to remember this one. So we have already uh, uh, added the SSH. So that is the reason we are not asking, it is not prompting for the username and password. So if you want to configure, if you want to know more about this SSH configuration means you can see my previous uh, videos. So you'll be able to understand. So now we have pushed it. So if I try to refresh here, we are not able to see this one so why because we are in the new branch so we can move it to the master branch and here you will be able to see the master.txt file latest 42 seconds ago it has been committed okay so this is the way we will push we will be pushing the files into the github repository so hope you understood about this pushing these files into the github repository so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you